by the time i reached 12th another hurdle came and fall into my head now this is your call to become a doctor it, it was a very defining moment because now i can no longer you know just go with the flow like i used to hi friends welcome to another episode of diary of a medico so this is a series where i share some of my experiences insights and thoughts regarding the events which happened in my life the purpose of this video is actually to inspire some of those people who might be struck in their lives who might be having difficulty making certain life decisions especially many students who are confused about what career path they should take which is the best path for them and for the neat aspirants who are trying to prepare for neat i would like to share my story of what actually made me a doctor what actually made me decide to pursue a career in medicine so let's just get into that to understand my story you just need to have a little bit of background onto where i come from schooling was done back in dubai and my plan was really not medicine was not really my first option as a career my option was to go for engineering so my plan was actually to complete my studies there in uae itself to complete my schooling there and then get into engineering like my brother Uh, in my family there are engineers but there are no doctors so my exposure to doctors were very very minimal there are no doctors in my first side of family whether it's my mother's side of family or my father's side of family there are no doctors at all none of my friends come from a doctor background during the school days so i literally had no exposure to the field of medicine the only doctors which i knew were the ones that you know you go when you have fever or some kind of illness the career path in front of me was pretty simple that finish your 10th grade then take science in plus 1 and plus 2 then do that do really good get into an engineering college i was planning to do in bitspilani in dubai itself and then you know get into some job and take that path and the reason why this path was laid in front of me was primarily because my brother took this same route and this was a uh, a path that was taken so commonly what was a path which was less taken or you could say the famous poem of robert frost the path less traveled medicine was that path it was the path that was less traveled as i've said no real exposure my mother you wanted me to become a doctor and she used to just joke around sometimes it was not joking she was kind of serious about it she wanted me to do medicine and pursue a career and become a doctor it is one of her dreams and stuff like that but i was not really interested and the main reason was because of the long career path that was the one thing which made me you know not want medicine because you have to study five and a half years of mbbs plus three years of md and so he has to study for like 12 years after school to just you know start earning and become settled so that thought of studying for such a long span of time that was the prime reason why i did not want to become a doctor and i was not really inclined to that field yet there was another reason which actually drove me to medicine to be honest and that was the fact that it was a path which is less traveled we always in life we always have a desire to do things that others don't do in my aspect when i was looking at things as i've said no doctors in the family no doctors among the friend circle so becoming a doctor means becoming the guy that chose that path which was less traveled medicine just gives me a lot of freedom because after doing mbbs there is no one to really guide me so i can be whoever i want i could choose to become an internal medicine doctor i could be a surgeon i could be orthopedician anyone i just wanted to be because there is no one to say anything this was the only reason why i wanted to do medicine but then again the main factor that is having to study for long having to give up dubai life that was also a big factor at that point of time because my exposure to my exposure living in india was very minimal it's just Uh, most generalized can relate to this that our all exposure is just coming for vacations and staying here for one to two months just enjoying chilling attending weddings playing cricket and football and just living that's the only exposure that we had little background story that you need to realize is that i was really 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 good at studying and that was one unfair advantage which i would say that i was really good at academics the things were going pretty well with me being really good at academics you know being the topper of the school and all of that stuff until 
one day that message came now this was when i was during my 10th standard and this was the summer vacations of 10th standard that is in the july of 2017 yes six years back six to seven years back now what this meant was that i can no longer continue my studies back in dubai now in grade 11 i have two options in front of me and it was a very defining moment because now i can no longer you know just go with the flow like i used to there are two kinds of people one is the architecture kind of people and the other is the archaeologist type of people now what it means is that architecture kind of people are the ones that just plan out everything in advance so they know what they want to be they want to be a cardiothoracic surgeon they want to be an investment banker they want to be this and that they want to do business these are the people who have everything planned out in life or most parts of their life and they are just they have all of these thoughts in mind then there is the other group of people and i belong to that group which is basically the archaeologist type you know people like me or uh, i don't have what to do next i really don't know what to do next even at this point if you ask me omar what is your plan for post graduation to be honest i can't just fixate and point to one specialty say that i want to be an orthopedic surgeon i want to be this or that i really don't know because these are the people they just start digging and along the way we hope to find something that is good for us and this was my case my case was to either be an engineer or a doctor i was living that archaeologist life now the point has come where i had to decide my future now why was this necessary because if i am planning to pursue engineering it meant that i would continue my studies in uae itself in dubai itself i'm planning to become a doctor i should go to india and continue my higher studies there that is my 11th and 12th the issue here were two things first is the cost and the expense of studying in uae and secondly the issue that i had studying here in india i know i had lots of doubt whether i would be able to cope up with the situation here plus i did not want to leave that comfort zone back then i had fears that if i came to india during 11th or 12th my studies would be disrupted you know when you are so good at something you have the fear of failure so much at you, you want to go to india but at the same time staying in dubai and then choosing the engineering it just became a lot less attractive to me at this point because of the expenses the expenses are going to be just humongous me uh, deciding to stay there for engineering and pursuing engineering in colleges over there it's just you know it's a lot expensive that is when we started to look out for schools here in india during that summer vacation and the plan was to join institutes with coaching for neat that but deep inside my heart i just did not want to go them at that point of time i was not at all ready for this kind of things but i realized that i had to do this because there seems to be no other way unless there is a third option which i will get to later and which is the option that i chose which i would say is the path that was least followed my brother at that time he was the one that actually told me something which i later realized was very very true he was very confident at that time that we would overcome you know these challenges and move forward in life and he said that this is actually a turning point in your life this is actually a catalyst for you because until now you were just that guy who was just good in studies but had no direction you know had no real purpose with career but now this is a catalyst for you to become a doctor this is the moment you have to realize that being doctor is the path for you you know they say there is a calling for everything right now this is your call to become a doctor it is your call to become that one person that first person in your family be it from your mom's side or from your dad's side to be that first person from your family to become a doctor to take that journey really we decided to take the path that was least followed and which was that path that was the path to continue my studies in uae itself that i will continue my higher studies plus one and plus two but i will prepare for the entrance examination during that period itself now this brings to the next phase you know and this was a difficult phase i did not know of a single student not even one student i ever 
knew of who cracked a uh, neat entrance examination or medical entrance examination in their very first attempt from a country like uae without going for any coaching institute every single person whom i spoke to regarding this entrance medical entrancing they all said the same thing i think it won't be possible for you to crack entrance in your very first attempt from dubai without any coaching without any guidance it's an impossible task what you need to do is study well during your plus 1 and plus 2 score really good marks after plus 2 you can take a repeat but near you know go for brilliant pala coaching here in kerala which is the best one and then i will spend one year and get into medicine my mother was not really convinced with the idea of repeating and it was a challenge in front of me for her the plan was actually to crack neat either in your first attempt that is right after your 12th examinations come in, come here in india write the exam and crack it which felt like an impossible task like i said the statistical probability of me doing it was just zero percentage or continue your engineering there itself she was not at all interested in me repeating a year because she had the fear what if you don't make it you're just going to waste one year my initial plan was to look out for coaching institutes there in uae and these institutes most of them had a very bad track record most of the students never did big on their entrance examinations like here in india plus their course was just massive for one year you had to spend around 6 lakh rupees for one year so plus 1 and plus 2 means it's going to be around 12 lakh rupees that too with a poor track uh, record and i took on that journey i was constantly searching in youtube and on quora quora website about how to crack neat what to do in grade 11 what to do in grade 12 all those things it was done on a weekly constant basis my mind was never at rest during those two years my mind was never ever at rest because i was at that situation and i was praying to god every single day just make a way for me out of this situation that was it whether it is engineering or medicine i don't really care i just want to you know have that architecture built right in front of me the archaeologist was wishing for an architecture at this point of time that was my prayer all along as days passed my uncertainty grew and i knew that i was not going to make it because everywhere i look around students are studying like 10 hours 11 hours consistent focus under guidance you know i was still confused about which book should i follow whether i was using the right book whether i was using the right material others are doing you know different kinds of tests they are doing mini tests they are doing grand tests this and that they are have solving this much amount of cube banks under the guidance they are competing against themselves so they have an idea how much rank they are going to get and me yourself preparing alone in a different country with nobody i knew of none of my friends are even interested in this thing which i am trying to do and i am doing this all alone myself the research was myself i had those doubts and but i just kept on going i never gave up i just kept on going by the time i reached 12th another hurdle came and fell into my head and this was me being the head boy of the school which meant that now in grade 12 i just have to take care of my studies that is board exams secondly i had to manage the school activities which consumed a lot of time being a head boy uh, of my school during those days was not really an easy task we had lots of responsibility we had a student council to look up to and we were also we were the ones that were conducting most of the programs on top of that i have this entrance thing as well in front of me so all in all i had literally no time for myself or for my friends or nothing my strategy for preparation was primarily preparing for the boards itself because i as i've said as days passed my confidence in cracking the neat entrance examination just fell down as days passed it became more clear to me that i was not going to make it the fear of failure just drove me to that path so i just kept studying for 11th and 12th the board examinations but those studies were the ones that actually helped me crack neat a lot of times the number one mistake which i feel that students are making the neat aspirants are making or even those who are preparing for iit je the mistake that they are making is they are preparing exam oriented i prepared 
in a subject oriented manner i didn't care which exam i was going to give and that was the reason why i was able to actually crack all the exams awesome. and finally the day of neat came and before neat two days before there was the board exam results which came out i had 96 plus percentage the neat exam was two days in front of me my focus was on that finally night. the day happened by the night of may 5 2019 dr omar became a reality the reason why i share this story is so that you can understand some of the key takeaways some things which you can take from my story the first one is it seems impossible until you do it you might be the first person who is going to break the stereotype those things which seem so far fetched so impossible they are impossible as long as you break them once you break them then that becomes a target that everyone can strive to achieve and i heard a story like this in athletics as well there was this rule that uh, no human can cross the 10 second barrier for a 100 meter race so the barriers stay as long as someone breaks them catalyst is something that speeds up the process the incident which i shared was a catalyst in my life which encouraged me to take the path that was less traveled the third point is you only need to do things once that's a very important point which i realized if for once you can prove yourself if for once you can get up and do the things you are supposed to do and for once if you can outwork yourself if you can overcome your uh, stress if you can overcome your self doubts and if you can prove to yourself that you are capable of doing what you are supposed to do just once in life that one success which you have achieved that is enough to propel you forward in the other pursuits that you are going to do because the one time you crack something which you thought you cannot do that will always be on the back of the head next time you are pursuing something which is very difficult because you will always have that confidence in your life and finally it is being grateful to god and that is something that cannot be stressed enough to be grateful to god for the moment that you are in as i have said i have gone back to the archaeologist mode from that architecture mode so i don't know what my future holds there are so many uncertainties regarding it but i do realize one thing that is the problems that i have right now are exactly the ones which i wished and prayed for in the past be grateful for the situation you are in and this one is for the medical students who are just confused many of the medical students get depressed they just get you know exhausted with the condition in medical colleges and with the burden of studying medicine but i always tell them that remember that there was a point in life where you wanted to be in the state that you are in right now so those are some of those insight which i think will help you this is a very long video i know that but i just hope that some of you who are watching is to this point i guess it will just inspire you so that's for this video you can subscribe if you like this i will be coming up hopefully with more such diaries of a medical episode until next time it's omar mohammed signing off bye bye